guys, and welcome to Book and Lube, where happiness is handmade and the best boyfriends are always found in books. I'm coming at you guys today with writing vlog number two. So I have spent the past month and two weeks or a week and a half, <laughs> however long it's been now since my last writing vlog, um, writing intensely <laughs> and writing a lot. Um, when I left you guys off last time, I was sitting at around 15,000 words in my um, Project Purple book, and I am now at about 24,000. And I am super, super excited and super pumped about it. Um, I recently brought some pieces of it to my creative writing club meetings, and they gave me some really positive feedback, which just made my heart feel so great. And I'm so happy and so proud of this project so far and where it is right now. Um, I think that it is going really great places and I'm really happy and passionate about it. So I'm going to kind of dive in a lot deeper and give you guys kind of a more thorough overview of my writing projects and where they're standing right now at this point in time. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So first and foremost we have Project Purple which I had set a goal for myself that by the end of January I wanted to hit 20,000 words and on February 1st at 12 a.m. so going from January 31st into February 1st I hit 20,100 words and I was really really happy with myself I mean I am very well known for being a procrastinator and so this <laughs> the fact that I was able to get most of my writing done before the last day I'm proud of myself. <laughs> so last time we spoke, I let you guys, I told you guys that I was writing about um, my character's freshman year and that I was really invested in writing these chapters because I loved freshman year so much of college and it meant a lot to me. And so I just finished like her first week at school. And I know that that might sound strange because I'm saying that I have 24,000 words written, but I'm saying also saying that I just finished her first week of college. Um, I jump around a lot when I'm writing, so I don't really stay like in one spot. So previously, when I first came up with the idea for the story, I wrote a lot of like later chapters. Um, like I wrote her some chapters for her sophomore year, her junior year. Um, and so as a result of that, I have more words. <laughs> I have 24,000 words, but I am also like now trying to go through chronologically and go through her um, freshman year now. So I just got into October now and we're having fall is in full swing and fall is, I mean, my favorite season has always been spring, but fall has always been a close second for me. Um, I just love the colors and the atmosphere and that there's so much to do during fall and so I'm enjoying writing about the fall experience um, in the location of where my characters are, especially because it's a location that I'm really familiar with because it's nearby where I grew up. So it's been a lot of fun to explore that world a little more in my writing. And I'm going to open up to get the exact word count of where I'm at right now. When I finished writing in January, I was at 20,100 words. So right now I'm sitting pretty at 24,749 words. And that's super exciting for me. Like I said, I was only on, I wrote about 4,000 words and that's like on top of being um, working and being in school and um, trying to run my part-time crochet business as well as doing all the reading that I normally do and you know just general I do a lot of cricket and stuff like that as well crafting so it's I'm happy with the progress that I've made um especially considering the emotional and mental states that I have been in the past few weeks um just a lot going on in my life personally so I'm 
very happy with my progress so far. I might make my goal for February to get to 32,500 words in Project Purple. So I am super excited. I feel like I'm like doing really well, I guess. Like the words are just like still like flowing out of me really easily. I, I did have a little bit of an epiphany for later on in the book when our two main characters like do wind up getting together. Um, I had like an idea of like how I wanted that to go and so I wanted to write that chapter while it was fresh in my mind. So I did write that the, like last week I want to say um, and I was really happy with how it came out. I think that it came out really good. It fits the characters and I think that it will probably stay the same. The only thing is I'm not like fully in love with my love interest's personality yet. And I know that's weird because I feel like you're that's always like the first thing like I don't know like to me like that was always like what came first when I was writing a story it was always like my love interests character like how I wanted them to act the kind of personality they have but I like originally set up this story at a different time in my life was like younger I mean like not that much younger I was like three years younger at the time and had like I guess a different idea of like who I wanted the love interest to be and like now like I don't know like I don't really like him and I'm mad <laughs> like I'm gonna have to like rewrite his character luckily I haven't done too many scenes with him in it just yet um I kind of just like have an idea I've more so been focusing on our main character and her roommates and her brother um like their interactions with each other so it's not too bad of a situation where I can like very easily like figure out sit down and think and like figure out exactly the kind of personality that I want to give the love interest but I don't know I'm not like I'm not I used I, I used to think it was like really great idea and I loved his personality but like now like things are different and i not as in love with it anymore so I might need to do like a full character shift which is fine I mean it's like a little scary and a little daunting but overall I think that it will be okay trying to figure out exactly how I want the love interest to act and behave um certain characteristics his sir, his character arc I kind of like know a basis of like his family and I'm trying to like really figure out like how his family is going to affect him because I have like this like his whole like background and upbringing is figured out but I there are certain characteristics and they're not like that big of a deal um that I just want I think I want to tweak and I want to change which obviously happens all the time when you're writing I mean like you try something and it might not work and you need to change it I mean I had my first book that I wrote tag which I cut like probably I don't even know 20% of it when I was doing my final rewrite just because I was like this like doesn't really work anymore and I mean my main love interest for that book he changed a lot as I mean I started writing the book when I was like 16 years old and I'm 23 now so he changed a lot and as my interest changed and like what I wanted in like a partner and like what my ideas of what makes a good partner changed he changed to kind of like reflect that a little more and I feel like this character is like completely different from which is it's fine he's completely different from the character in that book and that's okay but I feel like I need there are things like about him that like I don't vibe with as being like a love interest and I was like no like I need to like mix it you know like we need to we need to change it and make him more likable because he's really like not at a spot right now where he is likable if that makes sense so that is where I'm at right now with Project Purple so I did a lot of personal writing for the past month I mentioned my previous writing vlog that I had been working on a personal project um that I probably would never share with the world but it wound up being the one that I worked on the most over January I wound up writing like very nearly 20,000 words and that was kind of like a little weird because it was like one I was like not going to share with anybody and really was just a personal project for me to help me get through what I was going through and so now it's like 
I have all these, I have all these words written, like an endless amount of words written in this project. And it's like not, and I mean, like, don't get me wrong, all writing is good writing. Do I wish that I had been more focused on Project Purple and more zeroed in on Project Purple as I have been on my personal project? Yes, I do. But all writing is part of the process. And that was me, you know, working out some emotions. And that was me practicing <laughs> to get my writing better. And I think almost in writing them, that personal project, it made me realize that I didn't really like my love interests character that much. So I mean, it helped, obviously. So every little bit helps, you never know, like, it could be like something so silly, and it can help you to figure out like, something you wouldn't even normally think of or something that you didn't realize was an issue or a problem or something you didn't realize you needed to fix. So I was thankful that although I spent way too much time working on my personal project, um, I still got something out of it for Project Purple, which is my main project. After that, I have the Little Red Riding Hood retelling, which I have not touched at all because I've been so invested in my personal project and in Project Purple that I haven't touched it even a little bit. I haven't even looked at it, I don't think. It's on a flash drive somewhere because I like moved all of my undergrad stuff onto a flash drive um, so that I can make room on my laptop because my laptop is, has no room on it at all. So I have all that stuff on a flash drive separate. So I pull out the flash drive. I know exactly where it is. It's in my desk, but I need to pull it out and like actually like go through and I think read that story again. But I'm also like nervous because I don't want it to be like, uh, I'm going to now re work on, on the literate writing hood retelling. And then I completely like forget about Project Purple. Like, I feel like I'm in the groove for Project Purple. And like, when I'm not in the mood for Project Purple, I write in my personal project. And that kind of gets me back into the mood for Project Purple. And then it like, they like play well off of each other. And like, I feel like that's good. And I should not mix in the Little Red Riding Hood retelling. Okay, so for tag, I <laughs> promised myself that I was going to push my story out to three different agents over the course of January and I wound up not doing that um only because I kind of wanted to sit back I feel like the place I'm at in my life right now I'm kind of like at this point where I'm very sensitive to rejection right now um coming off of a really difficult relationship ending and kind of like trying to regain my footing and continue to build my confidence I felt like it was not the best idea for me to be querying a bunch of agents in January I am changing my tune for February I want to get back into it because I do really love that story and I do really believe in it but I just like mentally wasn't in the right place yet but I feel like I am now and I'm ready and I'm I want to take that next step again and so I'm going to set my goal for February to be that I want to query to three agents. And I'm going to like, actually, I'm going to actually do that. It's just a matter of like, actually like forcing myself. And that's something that like, I've always like kind of identified within myself was that I get myself like too worked up. And I don't know if it comes from like being like an honors kid and like, always feeling like I have to be the best at everything. Not the best at everything. But like, I always have to be like, good and like needing that like I don't know like it's like hard to explain like it's almost like that like honors kid burnout or whatever like kind of situation where it's like I was always really good at school and like different stuff like that and then when it comes to something that I'm like not particularly good at then I get like upset and then like I don't want to like face that like I'm not good at this thing because like I should be good at it you know so like I I'm trying to just like stay positive with myself and like not letting my self-doubt slash imposter syndrome slash whatever other issues I have going on get in the way of me following my dreams and chasing my dreams because I let that happen for too long and I don't want it to be like another five, ten, maybe even one, maybe a year like that. I don't want it to be like I'm looking back and I'm being like, why didn't I push myself more? Like, why didn't I, why didn't I query that story a million times until I 
like found a home for it or you know like trying to just like be unafraid that's like a big thing for me is like not being afraid of rejection I guess which is hard I mean like that's like a big hurdle that like a bunch of writers have to overcome is that like you need to like get over that fear of like sharing your work with the world and it is hard because as I mentioned in a previous video when you are writing it doesn't matter like what it is it could be poetry it could be prose it could be a novel it could be song lyrics it could be just a sentence on a piece of paper every time you write something down that's a piece of your heart that's going on to the page and so it's really scary to share that with the world and that's like something that I'm trying to be better at so I'm trying to like force myself into like you know chasing those dreams and doing what I need to do and you know putting myself out there and I feel like going to the writing circle has been really helpful. I think what I really honestly need to do is bring Tag with me to the writing circle instead of bringing like my chapters from Project Purple. I think I need to bring Tag and like that's like a finished complete project. So I feel like if I bring that with me and I ask them to look at that, it will help me more. And then from there, like I can start to like really think about the story more thoroughly getting feedback from other writers, not just like my, you know, people that I'm close with in my family that are going to tell me that it's good no matter what, you know, like getting feedback from people outside and people that are literally there to help me improve my work and help me to critique my work, that it'll be more helpful that way. And then maybe I'll do that. <laughs> maybe I'll, I'll email my like first couple chapters to my writing group. And then from there, I will check back in with you guys and maybe let you guys know what they say. I mean, I could be wrong. I, this could be like a story that's like not meant to be anything other than a story that I love and I get to hold and I, but I have confidence in that it can be something that could be published one day, you know, building confidence in yourself. So that I think is my updates for my writing projects I mean like my first video because I had to explain to you guys like all the projects that I was working on but like now that you guys kind of like know and if you haven't watched my previous video I'll link it up above so that you can see it but like now that you guys kind of like know what my projects are it's hopefully easier for you to follow along on like what I'm talking about um I told myself that starting <laughs> in this video I was going to give you guys my 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 go-to writing playlist so i'm going to do one song that i have been consistently writing to i'm gonna make a spotify playlist and i'll link it down below in the description so that you guys can like follow along so i'm gonna give you my tag playlist i think first before i jump into project purple so one of the songs that I have on my writing playlist that I tend to write to a lot is Dance with the Devil by Breaking Benjamin. Um, it's a really great song. I really love it. Um, I think that it really captures um, kind of a couple aspects of my story, especially my main love interest. I feel like it really captures him a lot and the internal struggle that he goes through. I've always like equated the song very strongly with Tag and so it felt like a no-brainer that I would start with this song because it's always been one that I've always looked at as kind of like the theme song for this duo like gonna be a duology if you were to read the first book and listen to the song it might be a little confusing maybe because his story arc really completes in the second book and this song really spans like his entire story arc from the first into the second and so it it will all make sense in time <laughs> so I think that that is going to be all for me today like I said this was a short one um I didn't really have too much to share so I am hoping that you guys enjoyed this writing vlog if you guys are working on any writing projects and you want to discuss them with me feel free to drop a comment below and I'd be happy to kind of discuss writing with you guys because that's who I am now I, I talk about writing with people now because I decided to be brave once and join a writing circle and now um I'm feeling more confident in myself and I'm so infinitely thankful for that so that is going to be 
all from me. I hope you guys are writing and happy and healthy and doing well. Um, I know for me, my spring semester just started, so I'll be starting up to student teaching soon, and I am super excited about that. Um, I'm hoping that I'll still have plenty of time to work on Project Purple. Um, not that I really see it being too much of a problem because I tend to write at like from midnight until like two o'clock in the morning. It seems to be like my inspiration time. So it's just a matter of like, you know, making the time because there's always time to write. You just have to make it, you know. So that's all from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and happy writing.